So if you ever want a tear, the number one advice I have is that you should not. You've probably noticed by the time this video comes out that the event has long, long passed. And the reason why this wasn't posted right away was because I wanted to make this video fancy. And then I got really tired and then I had finals and then there were more events and there were more gotchas I had to tear on. And yeah, so this video is coming out. I have no idea when. Maybe it's at the end of 2023 if I am really determined. And maybe it's at the beginning of 2024. So yeah. If you've been watching me for a while and have been following me since my origins on TikTok, you have probably seen this video before. Meanwhile, Yeah, so after not getting that card on JP and seeing my brother have it on JP, I decided to get Global and make sure that I absolutely get that card on Global. But also that event kind of marks the day that I really, really got into Project Sekai, so what better way to celebrate than to try, you know, tear on it. You know, tear on Rui's like second focus event ever. I remember when this event came out on JP, everyone was ranking like crazy. So honestly, trying to get into top 1000 is like easy. Easy. One thing I told myself was that I would only tier if I got all three cards needed to tier, all event cards. Cause like, the chances of getting Rui and Nene before Tsukasa, like that's, that's totally impossible. Anyways, here's some tiering tips. Number one, farm gems. I used all my music cards to buy songs that I knew I could full combo or songs I could at least try to full combo on both hard and expert. Then I leveled up my decorations. I did it before and during the event as I got more materials. Also, make sure to do your character ranks. Raise them up as high as you can before the event. When you do all of these things, it really helps. Anyways, the gotcha came while I was eating lunch with my family, so I was a little bit late to pull, and I also couldn't record, so I sat in my living room, my younger brother came next to me, and he watched my sad pulls as I did my first, like, 100 or so pulls. And this is how they ended up. Yeah, so after somehow getting extremely lucky in a way, but also not because I did not get Tsukasa, this was my team before the event. My plan was to buy Zemiku in the shop and replace Kaito with her, and I honestly forgot the reasoning behind that. I just did it because... Anyways, I went to go with spam cans, and I only ever did cans. I stayed free to play this entire time because I do not want to be spending my money on anything unless it is crystals. Fun fact, this entire event was during my midterms week, and like, I kind of need a pass dose to graduate, and uh, yeah, so I did not have a lot of time, but honestly, I'm pretty surprised where I ended up despite that. I'm pretty sure if I ended up using all of the items I had, I probably might have ended up where I wanted to go. As you can tell, I did not end up in top 1000. 
But anyways, yeah, so I did a bunch of co-op until I was able to pull again, and eventually... Okay, yeah, moving on. When I went to bed, this was my rank. I knew it would go down in the morning, and it did. But it was fine, new day, new try, new four star, and... It's a duplicate. Moving on. I played more, and did here. And the next day, I got this. So three days after this event started, I finally got my 200s pull. I was hoping that if I managed to pull Sukasa here, then I can just buy myself a card, use the duplicate in order to get a mastery note thing, and then I can upgrade a mastery, or I buy tickets and I can buy Bastub Saki next year because I did not get her this year. And then this happened. So on the bright side, I got Tsukasa and I could Master E5 him. <laughs> Please help, why did this happen to me? Now, it was just a matter of being able to play. I did my best. But it was midterm season, so please don't judge me too hard for, you know, not being able to rank and get what I wanted in the end because I ended up over here. Was I sad? Yes. But I was proud. I was so tired and burnt out that I totally forgot about the after show and I missed out on the gems, which made me even more sad and which made me want to give up on playing Project Sekai. But I told myself no because I finally got the Tsukasa card. Now, this is what happens if I tiered in a somewhat casual and sane way. I did not stay up late, I did not, like, lose any sleep or any money or any sanity. Or, well, I did lose some sanity, but I did not, like, go extremely crazy during this entire event. Now imagine if I decided to actually seriously grind as if anything would ever make that- Uh, well... Okay, so well, I guess I'll see you in a year.